So the first thing you do is to download and install the DJ Assistant 2, the FPV series version from their homepage. And this is the one you need to have for the run cam link if you have this uh, VTX. And you just power up the drone with the battery and connect to the VTX with a USB-C cable and you will see it pop up here. And the uh, first time you need to log in with your DJI account and activate it. Uh, after you're activated, you can just update the firmware. It takes about 5 to 10 minutes. And I use, I use a big fan uh, in front of the drone to blow fresh air on it so it keeps it cool the whole time as uh, it will get really warm when it's turned on and turned on and not flying. After you have done that, the activation of firmware update, you can turn off the drone and uh, then connect the USB-C adapter that uh, comes with the drone into the drone port and then into your computer and power up it uh, with the battery too. So you will need both uh, sources of power uh, to get enough energy to the uh, drone to turn it on properly. And uh, you download the beta flight configurator from their homepage. I just took the latest version and then I connect to the drone itself here. Yeah. Sometimes I wait too long and then it doesn't really want to. So I just need to restart the drone. When you have updated all the, oh, the controller and the headset should also be updated uh, to the latest firmware if you're using the goggles too. If you have the Goggles V2, then it's a different firmware uh, for, to get them to work properly. So once you're connected here on Betaflight, uh, you should go into the ports. And as standard, it's set on UR3, uh, which is the ELRS, the ELRS uh, receiver. And that's not the one we're going to use today as we want to use the DJI controller. So we turn the UR3 serial RX off and turn on UR5 RX on instead. We change this to on and then just save and reboot. And then you have to go to the receiver tab. And here you need to change it to the serial via UART. And the serial receiver provider needs to be SBUS. And here also you need to then choose save uh, all the way down here for it to save the settings you have done. After this, I still couldn't connect my controller as uh, the DJI uses um, SBUS fast as a serial receiver mode, something like that. So you need to go to the CLI option here. And here you can check the SBUS fast option by typing in this set sbus underscore baud underscore fast and then here we can see that it's already on on my drone but to turn it on if yours is off then you just type in uh, set sbus underscore baud underscore fast equals on then just press enter and then type save uh, after that and press enter and that will change the status of the SBOS fast to on instead and after that I got mine working with the receiver so it reboots here and we go to the receiver tab and we can see that everything is on at the moment and working uh, then I went to the modes here and here you just want to check that everything is working it knows that we're connected to the computer, but we can see the arm uh, arm button moves here and uh, we see the angle modes. So we have the angle in the middle. We have the horizon. Let's see if you can see uh, on my controller, the left trigger here uh, or the three button switch. This is the arm button all the way down. Then it uh, arms on the other side. Here we have the all the way up is the angle mode, in the middle is horizon, uh, and all the way down then it's in acro mode. So then you have full control. Uh, on the other side, that's the beeper, uh, and on the right side, that's 
for recording the video and um, I don't think the scroll wheel does anything but you can program it to do something if you want to and uh, the other trigger here this is a turn on and turn off the light I had to adjust it on mine I went to the user one tab here and as you can see it jumps from 1500 to 2000 and mine was set like something like that then nothing happens when it uh, tried to change it so I moved it up a bit like that and then it works and then just save and then I always go into the PID tuning and uh, for me I go to the rate profile settings put the rate type to actual and my settings are uh, the center sen sensitivity is at 100, max rate 500, expo 0 0.55 on everything. And uh, I'm going to try to fly uh, with a throttle limit of 80% at the moment. Uh, might even reduce it even more as uh, it does have a lot of punch uh, when outside with the 3S battery. But I don't really need that much uh, power at the moment. Uh, I'm trying to fly a bit. Uh, slower just to keep it in the air and uh, maybe fly inside and something like that so I don't need the full power uh, of the of the motors at the moment and if you change the throttle limit here uh, you should change the scale uh, throttle limit to scale and then set the limit to 80% or 70% or whatever you want uh, then it will reduce how much power it can output when you put it on full throttle and then again save and uh, you should be ready to go out and fly and I will show you a little bit of my flight from the first time and uh, to show you how good the camera is uh, even when it's really dark outside that's the really cool, cool part of this build that you can fly it even at night when it's completely dark outside and any other drone with normal cameras won't show anything on the screen. So thank you for uh, checking out my video. I really hope this, you find this helpful if you're doing a build like this. And uh, please do leave a comment and like if you like the video. You can see the blue light will be easy to find, hopefully. the whole yard. The rest of the field so much better. Level does feel awful flying around.
You can, it's really dark down here, so you can hardly see anything without flashlights. Again, it's a level mode. Okay. Will you feel the wind? You're fighting again. Five volts. Think that's in over five minutes now. That's not bad. And then it's gonna have 50 milliamp power and I'm not doing anything crazy. Just flying slow around my heart. to get used to the hot alarm mode and want to turn it down a little bit. No, it's 10 volts. Uh, 